Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you have not subscribed, please kindly subscribe and hit the notification button to always get my updates. In this tutorial of underflow and overflow, basically I'll talk about uh, what's the minimum number your computer can handle and what's the maximum number your computer can digest. Alright, so what we are going to look at is uh, first of all considering a given number n. Uh, which is equal to just a random number 1000 and we are going to look at uh, an initial underflow or starting number which is uh, we can set it to be uh, 1 okay and then we can set as well uh, overflow to be a starting number being equal to 1 all right so basically and uh, in underflow we are going to make sure that we divide our starting number until we cannot go anymore okay and that will be our minimum number our computer can handle and then for the overflow we are going to multiply our starting number initial number which is now one until we cannot move anymore above uh, that number okay and then uh, such the pro such that the program uh, returns an error that the number is too small or the number is too large so that means we need a factor to do that and I'm going to let this starting factor or this factor to be 2 alright so uh, in order to repeat this process or operation of dividing for the case of underflow and for multiplication for the case of overflow and repeat that a given number of n times that means we need a for loop so I'm going to say for n uh, in range uh, of n which is our stated number up all right so what are we supposed to do we are going to say underflow is equal to uh, underflow uh, divided by 2 because for the case of underflow all we need is to reduce that number and we see uh, how many times uh, uh, let's say n times uh, this number is going to be not reducible anymore and then for the overflow uh, we are going to say uh, this is equal to overflow uh, times times 2 where overflow this overflow is our already initial number stated up here right so that means we need to check our results by printing all the results every time uh, we iterate through uh, that n value that is set so we need to uh, print out our results n and then we need also to print out underflow and then likewise we need to print out our overflow and then if I do that and test let's see what happens this gives us a lot of number all mixed up uh, that is so hard to understand so this means that we need to uh, format our output and so I'm going to use a percentage symbol uh, to format our numbers so I'm going to have that uh, since that is going to be an integer uh, on n and then also I'm going to create some tabs alright so such that the numbers are a little bit spaced with backslash t backslash t to tabs and then let's look at how we can format uh, uh, the underflow okay so I need this to be in scientific notation so uh, or exponential form so I'm going to let it be to five decimal places so I will say I can say uh, e okay and so the same the same format is going to be applied uh, on the overflow so I'm just going to copy and paste this uh, right here and then uh, let's observe yeah the same so I'm going to as well include in some bars okay so when I include in the bar uh, it will look a little bit nicer uh, there and uh, we can have a bar right here and then a bar at the beginning so I can put a print a bar at the beginning so we have this in bar uh, this one in bars I can also uh, print a bar right here right so I have a bar right there and then uh, yeah that's it so let's try to print this again if I do that you can see that uh, our numbers are well printed out 
and uh, this is what we see are uh, the underflow and then the inflow for a given uh, number iteration number uh, uh, n okay so if we go down here let's check and see how we can see so far we are at uh, exponent 301 for the overflow and exponent minus 02 for the underflow and that is at n equals nine, 999 so we don't have any error that means our computer can still handle uh, either way so what you're going to do is to increase uh, our n we can just go up here increase our n or we can make a for loop, but that's unnecessary for a small thing like this so we can keep this one to 200 to 2000 so when we do that and run this again so let's see what happens uh, down here uh, in this case uh, you can see that it has returned uh, an overflow error which says integer too large to convert uh, to a float so that means the highest it can go uh, is uh, 8.98 exponent 307 and then the minimum it can go is 1.1 uh, exponent minus 308 so this means that it cannot exceed uh, uh, this number and it, it cannot go above this number so let's try to beautify our our results uh, by at least letting people know what is on top here what what is this column and what is that column in order to do that i'm just going to go up here and uh, print some headings so i'm going to say print uh, so the first one basically is our n i can call it small n okay and i can as well print a bar at the beginning then we have uh, we need to have the same type of format so we have uh, two terms okay and then that takes us to uh, another part which is the underflow so i can begin with a bar right here and then we have underflow okay and then after that we have uh, two terms right and then finally we have uh, the last part which is the overflow i can create also a bar which is overflow just like that so if i try to print this again uh, we can see that uh, okay this has i can just put one more one more tab right here to push this word uh, the other side on its column so when we do that we can see that it is clearly uh, formatted so this is our n for n equals zero we have that and underflow the first division we have underflow which is one divided by two that goes to 0 0.5 which is the five exponent minus one we have that and then the first overflow we have overflow times two which is one times two which goes to two exponent oo and so on so as we move further dividing and multiply, multiplying uh, the computer reaches a certain point that it cannot uh, digest uh, the numbers and then it returns an overflow and underflow error okay, so let's see if we have some numbers uh, let's say x equals uh, a 3 exponent of 307 which is at the highest end and then we have uh, let's say this is positive okay and then we have our y be equal to let's say 5 uh, exponent of uh, 10 right so we know that this is already x is already at the highest end and y is just exponent of 10 uh, let's try to look at if we are to multiply those two numbers uh, like x times y let's see what uh, it would give us it would give us infinity because the result will be uh, if we multiply here it would be 15 exponent uh, 317 which is going to be quite higher than the over limit uh, of 307 so uh, but if i was to divide this would be x divided by y which i expect to return a certain number because this is going to be below the uh, over limit uh, since the powers just subtract and that's what we have right so and uh, this gives us a good idea on uh, what we uh, we can what numbers we can set during either the modeling or simulation uh, 
when we are dealing with certain large large numbers okay so thank you for listening uh, kindly hit that button to subscribe and always follow my videos